Hello there and welcome. So what is this I'm holding right here? This is a homemade short killer and I showed you a few days ago on how you can create this homemade short killer. So what is this video today about? Wow, this video is really gonna be called. Okay, I showed you how you're gonna create this but I did not show you how you can use this in a perfect way. You might have an idea on how you can use this to troubleshoot shorting based on my other video that I troubleshoot shorting on a Samsung phone. But I tell you what, you cannot really troubleshoot shorting on a mobile phone using this short killer if that phone is not fully shorting. Wow. Okay, so what I want you to fully understand right here is that it's not really easy to troubleshoot shorting or to find shorting on a shorting mobile if that phone is not fully shorting using a short killer. But you can troubleshoot all shorting components using this short killer on a mobile PCB. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you can do that. You understand? I'm gonna go right here, take a PCB, then show you how you can use this on that PCB if that PCB is shorting. You understand? Okay, if you haven't watched a video, if you don't know how you can create this, then just check this video right here. You will see a video on how you can set up your homemade short killer. Okay, so let's get right inside, not actually right inside my PC, but on the table, I will show you how it goes. When you are troubleshooting a PCB, then you reach the extent that you will have to use a short killer. That will be because you have noticed that the negative and the positive battery connector is fully shorting and when they are shorting, we call that full shorting. So how can you use a short killer when a mobile PCB is full shorting or how shorting? I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, for full shorting, the battery terminals and the the battery terminals are always shorting, which means that the positive and the negative side is shorting. So for you to see the shorting component, you have two of your short killer probes. You will hold the negative one. Make sure you connect it to the surface. I don't really like connecting it to the battery terminal because it can easily damage the battery terminal. Okay, so you look right here. As soon as you have connected your probe negative to the negative side of the motherboard then you will have the positive and you are going to clip that to the positive side of the battery connector so you clip that then you wait for some time then you feel if you have the short powder detector you can spray it on your mobile pcb if you don't have you're gonna use your hand to feel the component that is shorting or because the short killer will force the component to heat up and it's forcing the component because of the high capacity that is the, sh the short killer is producing and forcing the component that is shorting to heat up okay so what if the shot it's not around here for example you notice that the battery connectors are okay which means that it's not full shorting sometimes it's shorting at some point on the pcb for example when some ic's are shorting for example like the network ic that phone will not full short it will have shorting which means that when you use your multimeter and test the components test these capacitors and like i said the cpu capacitors always seem to have a low resistance between them so they will give you a low ohm value so you test capacitors like the network section then the power section charging section if you see capacitors right there that are displaying a value below 200 that is because one ic somewhere is shorting that capacitor is half shorting that capacitor so that value in that capacitor is half shorting and you can find that half shorting by using yeah, a short killer you can find the shorting component that is causing that capacitor to half short by using your short killer so for example let me show you what i'm talking about right here so if i'm working on this pcb right here then i notice that the value of this capacitor right here is below 200 so what i'm going to do right here is that i'm going to connect to the side of this capacitor and always make sure you find the positive side and the negatives so that it will detect the shorting component easily you understand okay so what about those times that you will test and you notice a capacitor that is shorting then you remove the capacitor then the the, the 
the point in which you remove that capacitor is still shorting. If you see that type of thing that you are seeing shorting components removing the capacitors but still yet the place is still shorting, the place in which you remove the capacitor is still shorting, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna use your multi, you're gonna use your short killer then use it place them in those points in which you remove those capacitors so for example if i remove a capacitor right here I remove a capacitor right here if i want to test the shorting component that is shorting directly because if you just keep removing them you won't know the one that is shorting except you use the short killer to easily see if not you will remove a lot before you notice the one that is shorting if you connect your short killer probes to these pins right here it will heat up even if it's a, pow a power ic it will heat up the power ic the network ic it will heat up the network ic so that is how you can use a short killer